Guys, I just got a package. It's the C8 light stand from T to Stand. I literally just got it. I'm excited to open it and show you guys and tell you a little bit more about it. Let's unbox this thing and let's get right into the video. Welcome back to another video, guys. It's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray. And in this really, really, really quick video, I just wanna quickly tell you a little bit about the C8, the Cheetah Stand C8 light stand. It's the one right here, right above me, right behind me. And then that's the C10 back there. I'm a really big fan of these light stands. This isn't a sponsored video. This isn't a review video. This is just a real quick introduction to one of the best light stand companies out there. This is what I use, Ray Alvarez Cosigns. But let me tell you a little bit more about the C8 light stand. Cheetah Stand is yet another amazing light stand company in the United States. I met the team back in Shutterfest 2024. They've been great to work with. They have some amazing products. I'm super happy to use it. I'm gonna be using it this weekend for a wedding and then of course a portrait session that I have the very next day. Guys, look, we've all been there, right? You're taking a photo in one spot when you need to move your lights across the room or quickly you know, capture a live moment or something like that. Then you're like, I gotta manually close these light stand legs. Look, with the Cheetah Stand C8 or any of the Cheetah Stand lights to have the auto collapsing leg feature, you won't have to worry about any of that. You quickly move from one spot to another just by picking it up and just by putting it down. I lift things up and put them down. It's that easy. All right, so we're gonna do a field test here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the traditional light stand compared to the C8 cheetah stand. I'm gonna drop this off first. So let's just say we have a light we're gonna set up. There it goes, that's my light stand right there. Now we're gonna grab the traditional light stand and I'm just gonna go ahead and extend it and tighten it and put it down. Now I'm gonna go grab my lighting and there's no time for that guys. No time for that at all. Here's the thing, so now we're done. We're gonna move from location A to location B. So I'm gonna grab the traditional lighting stand, unloosen it, put it away. Or even if you wanna not unloosen it, you have to do this, you have to go pick it up and walk away, go to your location B and then go ahead and place it down, right? With the cheetah stand, C8, C10, whichever one you end up getting, just pick it up and you just keep going. And then once you get to location B, you just put it down and you set it up. All right guys, so when you pick it up and keep moving, of course, this is a little wider than this, this is skinny. So let's say for example, you're not outside somewhere where you have plenty of space to work with. The C8 comes in handy because it, it, it collapses into this small, very lightweight light stand compared to this where it's wider. And if it's a bigger light stand, then obviously it's gonna be much more wider and it's not gonna work for you in small spaces. So always, always, I will always choose a light stand like this compared to a light stand like this. So, and we're gonna go ahead with the C8. So I know that through video, I can't really explain to you how good in quality and material this part of the stand may be, but it's really good. It feels tight, it feels strong. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic from overseas or anything like that. Um, the tip here is metal, so that's that's awesome. It's not plastic. There's no there's no wiggling here. Um, it, it, it's sturdy. I have to compliment you to stand and using good metals, good materials for the build and quality of these stands. I wanted to talk about the leg structure. It does it. It's not really wide. It looks about, I would say, a 30 inch diameter um, all around. So it doesn't take up too much space, which is really awesome compared to the 10 C10. This is much much wider. Now the C8 stands at a maximum height of eight feet, which if you see behind me, that's what you can see there. And closed, I believe it's 28 inches, which is great because it's easy to transport, it's easy to throw in your luggage, probably under the plane, to take with you if you are a traveling photographer who's working on assignment somewhere, you can go ahead and travel with it. It's super light, you can put up to six pounds of weight on it, which, I mean, that's totally fine. With a modifier, like a 200 watt light, or even a 400 watt light with a modifier, like a softbox or something, that should be perfectly fine. Speaking of stands and other things that we cover in this channel, I do wanna to mention to you guys that you'll have two videos popping up in your screen here in a few seconds. Take a look at them, drop some comments in those videos, drop a comment or question in this video. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. I truly appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, guys.